Today, we're going to look at Astro Starlight. If you're familiar with Astro, you'll be right at home. This is basically, from what I understand, a documentation template. So it should be a pretty short video, but if you're building an app or you need some place to put documentation, this is a nice, easy way to get started. And it's free and it's simple and it's performance and it's SEO friendly. So let's take a look and get started here. So the site is starlight.astro.build. We'll click the get started button and it will give us the command to start using the template. So I'm in my GitHub directory and I'm gonna paste in the command npm create astro at latest and dash dash space dash dash template starlight. So I'm gonna name this app docs. We're gonna pretend that this is a documentation site for an app that you're building. We're gonna install the dependencies. And we'll say yes to TypeScript and yes to initialize a Git repository. Let's change directory into app docs, which is what we named this project. And we'll do code space period to open up VS code in this directory. Here's all our files. Let's open up a terminal here. NPM run dev. Cool, and here's our template. So a few things I'm noticing automatically, we got light and dark mode. We got a link to the, the Git repository, GitHub repository. We got a header component. We got a next steps component. We got search. Search is only available in production builds. Interesting. If we go to example guide, we have a few different docs. We have pagination type links in the bottom, which is cool. We got like table of content type links on the side. So we can add markdown files within the documentation folder to add new docs. Let's try that out now. So let's go over to our project. We have source, content, docs, guides. We'll do test guide.md. And let's look at the example. So we have some front matter here within the file so it doesn't automatically add the file within the sidebar okay so when the astro.config.mjs is where we're going to configure the sidebar this is where you set up the navigation so if we want to add that test guide that we just added we add it here Okay, so here's our test guide. It automatically goes to the next document within the tree here, within the sidebar array or object. If we want to remove the other pages, you would do so here. Within the sidebar. So let's remove these other two pages. This should just show us the test page or the test doc. Yep, there it is. So let's add a getting started page. All right, so I just added some copy here within the getting, getting Started Guide. We have the front matter title and description, and then we have a bunch of headings with a bunch of different sections. I have to add this to the astroconfig.mjs file. So the order in which it's listed here is the, the order in which it's gonna show up in the sidebar. Let's copy and paste the test guide to the Getting Started Guide. And we need to make sure that the slug matches so the link should match the MD, the file name, right here. This needs to match this. Here's the getting started guide. Here's all the sections. And what's nice is on this page, the table of contents on the right automatically fills in the headings that we've created. So the usage heading, for example, is going to jump down to here if we had a longer page. Further reading is right here. And the pagination automatically works out of the box based on that config.mjs file. And that's pretty much it to get started. You just write your documentation right within Markdown, put it in the proper folders, and configure the sidebar if you'd like, if you want the document to be in the sidebar. There's more information in the README if you want to read through that. Basically runs through where to put images and static assets like favicons. There's a few commands. 
and uh, links to documentation. But I thought that this was worth showing off. And if you are building a serious project and you need somewhere to put your documentation, this is a great option. We've been working with Astro a lot on this channel and it's really great. I really enjoy working with it. It's fast, it's secure, and it's pretty fun to work with. So again, I hope this was helpful. Definitely check out the Starlight documentation template and I will see you in the next video.